Hello and welcome to another episode of How to Build Rockets. In this episode, we're going to be covering how to build single stage to orbit vehicles. A SSTO is any vehicle that can reach a parking orbit around a planet without separating any stage of the vehicle to reduce weight. Staging allows you to cut off empty fuel tanks and non-optimal engines and essentially restart the mission with a smaller rocket that has engines that are optimized for the environment they are in. This allows for larger payloads since the rocket no longer has to carry the dead weight of emptying fuel tanks. The downside to staging is that the separated stages are often destroyed as they fall back into the atmosphere and the upper stages are usually left in orbit. This creates debris in space and wastes money by not recovering those stages. A SSTO, on the other hand, doesn't detach any stages and are often designed to return to the surface after completing their mission. Lockheed Martin's VentureStar was an SSTO launch platform designed to be fully reusable. In Simple Rockets 2, you will want to design your SSTO to have at least 6,000 meters per second delta V and a 1.4 thrust to weight ratio to get into orbit. I have already designed an SSTO for this video, but you can design whatever you want as long as it has the correct delta V and thrust to weight ratio getting off the path. So let's see how well this design flies. Notice the yellowish tint in the engine exhaust is not part of the stock game. I'm actually running a mod called Stock Engine Overhaul, which adds different fuel types and engine types to the game. Currently, this craft uses combustion tap-off engines with a hydrazine and liquid oxygen fuel that gives you a little bit more performance and power compared to some of the other stock fuels. pretty close to orbit now and you'll notice that the craft is pointed pretty much exactly to the horizon. I want to get as much of the vector of my velocity in the horizontal direction to increase my orbital velocity. At this point it doesn't help to burn up anymore because that's not going to increase my orbital velocity, it's only going to increase my apoapsis. I want to keep my orbit as low to the atmosphere and as fast as possible to get the most efficiency out of my engines. We're really close now. For the last stage, I'm going to add a plan burn to just give us a little bit more thrust and put us into a proper orbit. After that, we will look at possible landing locations and then begin planning our deorbit burn. So here we are, we've orbited the planet a few times now and it's time to come back. I've pointed the ship backwards and I'm firing the engines to slow us down and help us re-enter the atmosphere. 
Now, this craft doesn't have any heat shields, so I'm going to deploy my parachutes really early in the re-entry phase, and as soon as we hit atmosphere, they're going to start slowing us down. Hopefully, this will help reduce the amount of uh, heat that we experience as we come into the atmosphere, as the parachutes will create more drag than just the body of the aircraft will. And once we're following deeper into the atmosphere, the aerodynamic surfaces on our ship will take over, and we'll be able to fly it in like an airplane, uh, and begin to glide towards our target. Now we don't have much fuel left in our ship and we're not going to be able to cover the hundred kilometers between us and the runway but we can put it down somewhere on a flat dune and call a successful mission there. So here we are coming in for an approach and I'm going to go ahead and ignite the engines again to burn off the last of our toxic hydrazine rocket fuel. We don't want any of that left over in our tanks when we get ready to hit the ground. Uh, looks like we're definitely not going to make it to the runway so instead I'm going to start scouting out for a nice landing location. I'll deploy my landing gear and look for uh, just a smooth landing here, maybe turn around and drop right into these dunes here. Right now my goal is just to kill my speed and kill my height and get low to the ground and glide in nice and slow before touching down and redeploying my parachutes to break. Here we are at the final moments of descent. I'm only 100 meters off the ground and dropping. Uh, as we get close to the ground, I'll deploy the parachutes, flare up to kill my speed, and slowly glide back down for a soft touchdown landing on the deserts of Drew. So here we are. We've successfully landed our SSTO back on Drew, and we can reuse it for future flights. If you found this video helpful, Please like and subscribe and post any comments if you have any questions or would like to see me do videos on other topics. And as always, thanks for watching.